So this question is a diagram question. It's more specifically a table question, right? We have our table here. So we have x values. We have corresponding g of x values. The question goes on to say the table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of g of x, where g of x equals f of x over x plus 3. And f is a linear function. So what does that mean? That means that f of x is equal to m x plus b. Like that's what that statement means. What is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x? So basically, we're asking what is the b value, right? Because the b value here is the y-intercept. So what is the b value of the f of x equation in the xy plane? Okay, so we're trying to get from g of x to f of x. This must be the key because it relates to two things. And then, of course, we have to use this information that's been provided to us. So let's get started with that. Um, so I'm going to say, well, taking this first row here, when x is negative 27, g of x is 3. So if I put that into this equation, that means g of x would turn into 3 equals f of x would turn into f of negative 27, right? Because we're replacing x with negative 27 over x would turn into negative 27 plus 3. So we'd have... Uh, 3 equals f of negative 27 over negative 24. And of course, I can multiply both sides by negative 24. And I'd have negative 72 is equal to f of negative 27. So I'm going to just write that up here. f of negative 27 is equal to negative 72. Okay, so let me just erase so I can have some more space. Let's do that again for the next row here because again this is not going to help me find a y-intercept but let's try the next call the next row negative nine zero so that's going to say that g of x is zero when we have f of x is negative nine so it becomes f of negative nine over negative nine plus three right because again x is negative nine so this becomes zero equals f of negative nine over negative six and when I multiply both sides by negative 6, I still have 0, right? So I still have 0 equals f of negative 9. So I'd have f of negative 9 equals 0. Now, I could keep going, but I don't think I have to. Um, and the truth is, I didn't, not, I didn't know how any of this would work out until now. Um, so what am I saying? I'm saying that I... Everything that I just did was based upon realizing if you give me this information, I need to use it. If you give me this information, I need to use it. The only way to use those two bits of information is by taking what you told me, g of x and x, plugging them into here, and then just seeing what comes out. What comes out are these two things, right? Now, of course, I can do it a third time for the third row, and let's just do that. Let's just do it quickly. So g of x, in this case, is 5 for the third row. And this becomes f of 21 over, instead of x, it becomes 21 plus 3. So this becomes 5 equals f of 21 over 24. We multiply both sides by 24. And we end up with 120 equals f of 21. So I have now a third point. So I've plugged in everything that I possibly could, and I have these three points. So how is this helpful? Well, this is helpful because now these are also ordered pairs, right? Like this is the point negative 27 comma negative 72. This is the point um, negative 9 comma 0. This is the point 21 comma 120. But these points are no longer for the g of x function. They're now for the f of x function. So if I then take that along with f of x equals mx plus b, I can solve for m, right? Because m is just y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Which ones would I choose? I'd, I'd actually choose, I'd go with these two guys and call that my y2 and call that my y1. So I'd have 120 minus 0. And then uh, call this my x2 and call this my x1. So I'd have 21 minus negative 9. So altogether, that would give me 120 over 30. And 120 divided by 30 is 4. So now I know that my slope, my m value, is 4. And I can go back and say, okay, that means that f of x is equal to 
4x plus b. Okay, so I'm one step closer to solving for b. So how do I find b? Well, again, I can go back and take this ordered pair again and say, well, this point is telling me that when f of x is 0, right, so this when this is 0, x is negative 9. So I'd have 0 equals 4 times negative 9 um, plus b. And 0 equals negative 36 plus b. And therefore, 36 is equal to b. And there's my y-intercept. So that's it. We found it. 36 is equal to b. And therefore, the answer here is choice A, right? 0, 36 is the y-intercept because when x is 0, y is 36. We just found that through this long process, um, but it wouldn't take you as long as it took me to explain every detail here.